Well, good morning, girls and boys. I hope you're having the most fantastic day so far. And welcome back to school, or at least welcome back to doing school at school. You know, I'm sure many of you really enjoyed learning from home for uh, last term, but I'm sure you're all excited to be back, being able to see all your friends in person, and even being able to play outside in the playground with some nice warm weather, finally. You know what? This year has been a little bit of a different year for me, and I wonder if it's been a little bit of a different year for you too. But you know something that I've really, really enjoyed is making these devotions. And I thought it's been absolutely wonderful, really great, that we've been able to go through the whole book of Matthew. Now, if you remember, Matthew was a friend of Jesus who followed Jesus around when Jesus lived, and he wrote stories about Jesus' life. And so far this year, we've been learning about Jesus from the book of Matthew, and I have really, really enjoyed it. And I hope you have been enjoying it too. And you know what? Now that school's back, we're just going to keep on chugging along. We're going to keep on learning about Jesus from the book of Matthew. And we have a really, really good story to learn about today. But before we do, I have a bit of a question for you. When was the last time you were really, really hungry? I wonder if you can remember the feelings you had in your stomach. Maybe you got a little bit hangry. Hangry is when you get angry because you're hungry. I get a little bit hangry sometimes. But just the other day, I was really, really hungry. And all I wanted to eat was dumplings. I, I was like craving dumplings. Dumplings are like meat filled, they're like a dim sim type of things. I'm sure many of you know exactly what a dumpling is, but I was really, really hungry and I wanted dumplings. But what did you want when you were hungry and when was the last time you were? You know, we're gonna be reading a story today when there was 5,000 hungry people. Now 5,000, that's a lot of people. Maybe for you preps, I'm sure some of you can count up to 50. I'm sure some of you can count up to 100. And I'm sure some of you can even count more than 100. Maybe you grade ones and twos. Wonder how far you can count up to. But 5,000, I don't even know if Mr. Baird can count up to 5,000. But there was 5,000 hungry people. And Jesus, because he is God and he is powerful and he is great, he fed them all with a little boy's lunch. Little boy came up to him with his lunchbox. He had a little fish, a couple of bread, and he fed a huge crowd. But that's enough from me. I'm going to be quiet, and we're going to read the story today from the Jesus Storybook Bible. So read with me. This story is called Filled Full. There once was 5,000 tired and hungry, and probably very grumpy, people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. They'd come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast, stayed all morning, all afternoon, and now way past dinner time. No one had meant to be out there that long, but that's how it was, listening to Jesus, as if time didn't even exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this day, that's just what they did. But you see, they hadn't bought any food, and not enough food. And they couldn't just go and buy themselves a burger and fries on the go because, of course, they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants. And besides, that kind of food wasn't even invented yet. So what would they do? Jesus' friend had an idea. Let's send, them, let's send everyone home for dinner. They didn't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat now. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town and buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money. What food do you have? Jesus asked. Go and see. Now, there was a little boy in the crowd. He had brought a lunch that his mother had made for him that morning. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much. Not nearly enough to fi feed 5,000 people. But it was all that he had. 
I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his little lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said. But they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. And so the little boy gave Jesus his own lunch. Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, you watch. How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that? Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans. And Jesus knew the one who in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? Jesus took the little boy's lunch, looked up to heaven and thanked his father. Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more, and more, and more. Enough for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Second helpings, third helpings, even fourths, until they were so full. And still, there were leftovers. Well, Jesus did many miracles like this. Things people thought couldn't happen. They just weren't natural. But it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God has been doing from the beginning, of course. Taking the nothing and making it everything. Taking the emptiness and filling it up. Taking the darkness and making it light. Wow, that was a great story. And how awesome is Jesus that he can feed so many hungry people. You know what? Let's take some time and watch a really fun video on this teaching. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um... Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up, There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, Tell everyone to sit down. Right, everyone, sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves gave thanks to God and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. You guy. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Wow, that was such an awesome video. I really enjoyed listening to that. I really like uh, those Saddleback Kids Club videos. I think they're pretty cool and pretty cute. But you know what? Before we go uh, off for the day and we learn all of the things we're going to learn at school, I think we can learn two things from this story. Number one is that nothing is impossible for Jesus. He is so powerful and he is so mighty. And number two, you can trust Jesus 
to provide for your needs. Jesus always cares for everyone and he loves little children. So that remember that Jesus cares for you so, so much. I can't wait to see what we're going to learn next time from the book of Matthew. Have a fantastic day and I can't wait to see you all very soon.